Hello everybody, it's Wendy here from the Indigo Blue team with a, a different kind of project today. I'm actually going to recreate something like one of the samples I did for the Halloween launch last year. I'm thinking we're into October, it's soon to be Halloween, so what better um, project to do than something that celebrates Halloween and uses those stamps from from last time so the main stamp i'm going to be using today that by the way is why i've got all these sort of goodies out we're going to be um stuffing our little goodie bag with some of these later they're not my snacks for while i'm doing this video so i'll put them to one side so they're out of the way for now so the first stamp that we're going to use will be the um or the main stamp will this be this um spooky boy We'll be using the Crackle Glaze background, or if you haven't got that, you could use the more recent one, which is the Journaling Textures 2 from Mike Deakin's um, release recently. And also I've got one of these labels that we're going to be attaching. Um, I think it's this one I've used, the Arsenic Poison. So without any further ado, we'll make a start. I've got my tag and I've got my little brown um, sort of sandwich bag thing that we'll be attaching the tag to later. So let's start on the tag. So I'm going to add some colour to that and because I want it to be quite spooky. No, actually, I think the first thing we'll do is paint this so that we give that a chance to dry and then I'll do the inky background, I think. So I'm going to add some colour to this and it's going to be some of this lovely purple rain it's a translucent paint so i'll just put a little bit on my on my mat and i'm going to just streak it through his hair to give that color you can see i've done a little bit of fussy cutting around around the stamp and I've stamped it with VersaFine Claire and heat embossed it with the super fine clear embossing powder. And I'm going to give this a touch of the purple as well so that I'll just make all that cover up the um the white card. I'll leave his t-shirt and we'll add a different colour to that. There we are. That's the purple bit done. And I'm going to add some green, I think. This sort of purple and green thing for Halloween is a classic combination isn't it so I've got lime marmalade again it's a translucent and I'm just going to put some of this on some of those stripes on his t-shirt it's almost a sort of neon colour Think. I haven't got it out, but I think orange would be a good um, contrast there. Purple, orange, and green. So, just 
sticking with the translucent, I'm going for Tiger Lily. Or you could use Burning Bonfire, that's a lovely orange colour as well. But this one will do the job for me, I think. As the others are translucent, I want to stay in that translucent zone. notice that there's a little bit of purple missing on the side of that t-shirt where I don't know whether it's a, a branch or a lightning strike or whatever it is that's causing that there we are okay that's that bit done and now to his face. Ooh. Okay. I want to make him look a little bit like he's made an effort with his makeup, which he clearly has. So I've got a little bit of porcelain. But I'm going to add a touch of blue sky to this. Give him a bluish tinge to his face. There we are. It doesn't look very healthy, does it? But I guess that's that's the point. And then around his eyes, and perhaps with his um, scar tissues there. I wonder if I've got a red pen or pencil that I can go in there with. I didn't plan that, oh, here we are. There's a Sharpie and a Stablo or pencil. I think I want to go in his eyes with a white gel pen. I'm not very prepared, am I? Normally I would have got that out. of his eye and then I just want to go in with a red sharpie and I might go around his eyes a little bit give him that kind of bloodshot sort of look it's very attractive And then his stitches. Looks like they're oozing a bit. Been done by a butchery specialist, perhaps, rather than a a well qualified physician. And you can just have fun grunging that up as much as you want. Okay. 
Okay, that's those out of the way. I might trim that little piece there. I think it's got a bit too much excess to it, so I'm going to take some of that off. in there and chop that out. That's better. Happy with that. Right, so the mat can go to one no it can't go to one side. I'm going to get inky on that now with some distress ink to create the the background for my tag. Paints are finished with though. Right, so for the tag, for the background, I'm going to add some um, crackle glaze, first of all, in the, in black, and I'm going to heat emboss that as well. So I'm just going to use this on my hand and get lots of stamping on that. And it can go in all sorts of different directions. And we'll quickly heat emboss that. Right, so I'm going to add some colour to this now and I want to do some ink smooshing. So I've picked out the crushed olive and seedless preserves, that purple and green sort of background. So I'm just going to put them onto my mat. Oops, just remembered I mustn't do that on those paint mats are not heat proof. doing some inking on there. I want some more of the purple. And I definitely want more purple on there, so instead of smooshing it around with the water, 
I'll get my um, blending tool and actually put that straight on. There we are. to up the greenness as well. I'm not sure the crushed olive is the right colour. It's got a bit too much orangeness to it. So I think I'll head in the direction of twisted citron and see what we can do to add that sort of more spooky greenness to it. So let's get some of this on here. This is where the properties of the Distress Oxide might be handy because this one will want to stay on the top so I might definitely get more, more green here. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Move that out of the way because that's very messy. Is there anything else I can do to green this up a bit? It's still not as green as I'd like it. Let's try a bit of road lawn. convinced but that's fine because I'm having a nice time playing so I think I'll go back to the purple and see it was seedless preserves that I used but I think I'm going to head in with some villainous potion Okay, I'm good with that. And as always, wrap some black soot around the edge just to finish it off. Let me find my black sponge. There we are. I can't remember what colours I used on the sample I did for the release last Halloween. We write all the um, all the information on the back, okay, but I can't for the life of me remember. I think it was a bit brighter than this and I did it on a big wooden tag as well. But this is a bit more accessible, a bit easier. Right, there we are.
looking that might do nicely with a bit of spritzy glittery -ness. let's see what I've got that works maybe I'll leave it alone for now or maybe not maybe it needs some metallic flicks so excuse me while I go get metallic paint okay just some gold metallic put it on my mat with plenty of water and flick it around bigger brush needed really more paint perfect set that to one side and clean up if that's a bit splattery so the next thing that's going on there is the label the poison label now this came from these poison labels of cyanide hemlock and arsenic and I've stamped the arsenic one onto some plain rice paper just with versifying ink or um, archival ink and that's going to go on here with some slap it on mat to seal it. But I think we need to, oh, can you see the shine on that now? That's great. They're more than splatters there all over the shop, which is making it look like a, a night sky. I'm liking that, but I am going to give it a dry. I'll do the job so now I've got some slap it on mat which I'll just put a little bit out on my glass mat here and with a dry brush I'm going to put some across the top and this is going to go on here there we are and they are coming down at the bottom. So we'll just pop, slap it on across here. A little bit on the back. And because it's on rice paper and the slap it on mat will seal it nicely but you'll see the colours underneath through the rice paper it'll, the slap it on mat will make it nice and translucent I just want to get the edges of the label in a roughly central place there we go it's got curled under matter it's a raggy sort of label there we are so it fades into the background Do 
just go up and go for this, but as I've got my Slap It On mat out, I'll stick with that. Just sort of trim off that edge that hasn't quite caught the paint. And some black soot around the edge. Where have I put it? That's a mystery. Oh well, there's probably enough on the uh, on the sponge to just give it a bit of a coating. Just really to take the whiteness off those cut edges. I'm not bothered about it actually framing the the image itself. Just to take the whiteness off anything that's been cut. There we are. So he's going on there. Move him down a bit so that that poison label is clear. That's not going to happen, is it? I'll go with the grab and go. Grab and go. Tried and tested. Here we are. Spread it around a bit with my finger. A clean kitchen roll. our tag. I'm just going to turn it over and trim that edge. And then our bag is coming in here. I need to make a hole in the same place as the hole in the tag. I'm going to stick it on first. And then I'm sure it's in the right place. make my hole. It's suddenly come over really dark. 
Oh, I haven't got my light on. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I need to get my crocodile out. That's not not happy. I've got some black sari ribbon, perfect for Halloween. I'll just cut a length of this. Um, there we are. Fully formed. And that one there. Oh, the sari ribbon is quite thick. It's a bit thicker than what I normally use. Must be a, a different piece. sort of in place so now you can stuff in whatever you like your love hearts your lollies your chews lots of chocolates this is a good goodie bag so you don't want to be giving this out to really special people passing it up and there we have it, Halloween goodie bag filled with whatever you want to fill it with. Hope you enjoyed that. If you make anything, as always, please share on our, our Love Indigo Blue Facebook page. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.